So somebody on Instagram asked if I could do a step-by-step -step, um, guide on how to use the tool to hack the NES. So and essentially you're just going to download the Hotchkey, I don't know how you say Hotchkey uh, app. You download this, before you enter the ROMs you're going to plug in your NES. It's going to download the drivers and then install the firmware that soft mods your NES. After that point, that's all you. After that point, I'm going to show you guys how to upload um, ROMs and stuff into the uh, actual system. So I just uploaded this new game, uh, Gyrus. And uh, so you go here and you set your parameters if it's a two-player game, not simultaneous. You, you click that if it is. You click that one. You hit add more games. And then it'll open up. Here, I'll show you guys. It opens up you know the file list of where it's located or whatever and then you look up so I just you know installed that one so I'm not gonna dig in because it'll you know it's already in there so you don't have an image if you upload the game or the ROM without an image this cartridge this blank cartridge is gonna show up so you hit Google and then within the app it'll look for the box art so this looks good uh, don't worry about you know setting the settings for the picture everything's done with the tool squish it down to uh whatever the nes classic asks for so so i put that one in there let me do gremlins 2 i'm gonna put that in my nes roms here i'll go to add more games select it uh i think it's a one player game right oh and if you want to change uh the tool's a little weird uh right now it changes teenage mutant ninja turtles into teenage Mutant Nina Turtles. It doesn't do J for some reason, and that's a bug that's already been noted to the developer of the program. So if you like, if you have this Gremlins 2, you know, dash the new batch, it will show up like this. So if you don't want this, you'd click that out. But I don't really care. Uh, there's an updated tool coming out that will fix the naming, uh, the naming convention of the actual ROMs. So again, you hit Google. I'm gonna do uh, two more. And there goes the box art right there. If somehow the tool doesn't find the box art, um, change this to like, you know, just change it to Gremlins to delete the rest and it will find it. If not, you can just find it yourself and then hit browse and it'll open up a directory. So once that's done, you're going to hit upload selected games to NES Mini. And at this point, you take your NES Classic Edition and you want, like I said in my previous video, you want to use... Um, a USB for like a phone or something reliable because I was using the stock one and oh my gosh it was such a pain in the ass. So you're gonna plug it in and you're gonna hold reset for three seconds one two three and then power and then let go and then you should hear that and then it should start uploading your selected games it's very easy, very easy. I understand how people don't want to break their consoles. And so, like, this does... It's going to take a few minutes. So, you're going to get that. And then, the NES power light's going to switch on. What you're going to do at this point is just power it down. Unplug it. And then, let's check it out. There you go.